Hi, y'all. It's me. I'm back this week with more money-saving tips and ideas for 2012. Uh, before I get started, for all of those who are new to my tips videos, or even those of you who have been following along, if you're ever looking for my tips videos altogether, if you click on my name, Scrapanology, it'll take you to my channel. And there I've created a playlist, and it has my tip videos from number one up to present date wherever we are so you'll be able to see them all in one place instead of trying to filter through the rest of my videos so that's to uh, that's the first thing I wanted to tell you the second thing I wanted to tell you is that um, a lot of the ideas that I'm showing you are not necessarily new to everyone you know we've been we're all at different levels of crafting so um, you know this may be stuff you've seen before but there's always new people that come on that don't know so that's why I recover uh, go over a lot of this stuff so today I have so many tips this is going to be are you ready for this 18 through 29 oh my goodness <laughs> I got carried away this week maybe you'll give me a break on another week but anyhow <laughs> um, it all kind of tied together that's why and you'll see what I mean but I, I'm just gonna get started I hope you stay through the whole video because there's a lot that I want to share with you um, and I think they're all really good tips so number one tip we'll start with will be a quick stick and these quick sticks are a little um, tool that has this gummy stuff on the end and it enables you to pick up things that are tiny to place on your work you could use it for beads for anything that's tiny um, it also has this pokey tool thingy on the end um, I don't use the pokey tool thing. I use mostly just this part. I know a lot of people can't find them. So this idea that's coming up, this tip, is from Carlene, who is Pink Scrapper 99 here on YouTube. And she shared this on her video. And I asked her, could I share it with all you view? Because I thought it was a great idea. And basically for this, you'll need either some bamboo skewers, or I have these which have cotton tips on the end, which doesn't matter. You just need the stick. And you need some multi um, Tombow adhesive and basically you just apply a small amount of the adhesive on the tip of the stick as you can see there you let it dry overnight and then voila it does the same exact thing and when you are done with this one you can make another one if you need more I mean it just it's it's perfect and if you don't have the multi tombow in your stash and you happen to have some tack it over and over, I know that works as well also. So you might want to give that a try. So thanks, Carleen. And like I said, it's a wonderful alternative. So that's number 18. Tip number, let me scooch the little hearts out of my way. Tip number 19 would be how many times have you used... Um, uh, what you call it foam adhesive dots on your work and when you look at it from like the top you can see the white there and oh it drives me crazy <laughs> I don't like that so what I used to do or what you can do is you can take a marker of the color of paper you're using and just color that in so that it doesn't show it just kind of um, becomes invisible I just don't like it to show I mean I use markers of all colors to do this just so I don't you don't see the foam square because it drives me kooky um, but there's also another way to do this as well and I will show you what that is and that's using this fun foam and it's basically that foamy stuff you get at your craft stores or dollar stores even and simply all you do is put some double-sided adhesive on the back and then you can cut these into whatever size shape you need or any color to match your project you're working on and in this instance I stack three pieces of it together so I have a bigger foam um, foam mounting square if you will and then you just basically peel off your backing and there you go stick it right under your project and it becomes invisible which I love so that's tip number 19 tip number 20 involves using these pop dots and they don't have to be the round ones they can be any ones you want and simply take the little sticky off of one side of it you can apply a little bit of glitter on there and rub it down and now you've made yourself a little glittery center the back still has the adhesive uh, covering paper you know to cover it so you peel that off and then you can stick it onto 
your project. And this is what I did with a couple of them, just so you can see. I use them as flower centers. How fun for spring, huh? To use those as flower centers. Really cute. So you might want to try that out. That's tip number um, 20. Then I'm going to jump ahead to tip number 21. And tip number 21 involves sticky strip as well. And as you can tell, there's a theme going on here. Everything's sticky. <laughs> uh, you just simply take some sticky strip of your choice. Doesn't matter what brand or whatever. What I like this to do this for is edging, but you can use this anywhere on your project at all that you want to do this with. You apply your sticky strip down and then pull it off the covering and then take your glitter, apply that to the top of the sticky strip and rub it down, shake it off, and you have a perfect line to edge your tags or whatever it is you want to do with it. It's just another way to use your sticky strip and um, awesome way actually. So that would be tip number 21. I'm still moving along. This video might run a little long. I'm sorry, but I want to cover all of this in one video. Uh, the next tip is if you have, um, you know how you get some of your acrylic stamps, and even though you, you can wash them, and sometimes that will revive the stickiness of them, but sometimes you get them and they just, they don't, they don't stick. It doesn't matter what you do, they don't stick. If you take some double-sided tape, you can apply a piece of that to your project, um, your acrylic block like you see there, and you apply your stamp to it, and now it'll stick, and you can go ahead and use it on your uh, project. The other thing that's good for is when you buy the red rubber stamps, if you didn't get them foam mounted, you can just apply it to that sticky tape also and use the stamp. You don't necessarily need to have the foam mounting, and when you're done, you could just peel the tape off clean off your um, block, and then apply another piece as you see there. So that's number um, 22. Number 23 is, I don't use these, but other people do, and they're glue dots. And basically you just take some uh, wax paper like this, and you take Aline's, tack it over and over, this product right here, and you put dots of it on to the wax paper and let it dry overnight. And then you simply can remove your glue dot, as you can see there, uh, and use it on your project to hold your papers down. So that's just another way to make your own glue dots if you, um, if you don't want to buy any. And you can make them any size you want, which is really good if you use them. Uh, okay, so that's number 23. Um, number 24 involves some tape, where did I put it, right here. This is medical tape, it's a cloth medical tape and I got this at the dollar store. Um, it also, medical tape comes in tissue and you can actually, I run some strips here so you can see what they look like when they're out. And you wanna do this on a craft mat or something that you can remove the item without it being torn. And you basically can get your stamps, any stamp you have, and you can stamp right on to these and you'll have your own decorated tapes for your projects. And then you can also take your, your distress it tools and you can, you can, you know, grunge them up so they don't look so um, white. So that's just another way to use that. And then you simply just pull it off and use it on your project for both of those. So that's uh, tips number, um, that was 24. So let me turn this back over. Sorry, I'm kind of trying to go through all of this stuff so quickly. <laughs> I want to make sure to get them all in. Um, now we're going to be doing something with our... Uh, double-sided adhesive which is right there and basically what I did was I pulled out some fabric that I had I took and applied a strip of the adhesive to the back of the fabric and now I have my own fabric tape 
Isn't that awesome? You don't have to buy fabric tape. You can make your own. It's gorgeous. And, you know, it's cheap. I mean, I know I have fabric laying around. And then you simply peel it off and it's got the adhesive on there for you. You can add that to any of your projects. Just an awesome way to use up your fabric scraps. Now, I'm going to show you a way to store these. I I don't have, I have, but I can't find at the moment a larger spool than this. So I made a miniature, just so you could see, I made a miniature fabric strip. But you can basically just put these on the spools, make a whole bunch ahead of time if you want to, and then just add it to your spools and um, store them that way. They're really cute. And that way it's ready to go when you need it. So that's a way to use your fabric with some double-sided adhesive. The next idea is number 26 same concept only this time we're using tissue paper and if you've heard of washi tape this is basically what washi tape is like it's tissue paper tape um, so basically what I did was I ran a strip of my tape onto the paper and I made strips of the tape and as you can see, the one benefit about using the tissue tape is you can punch out with your punch. You can use any of your decorative scissors that you have, and you can make the edges decorative like I've done here. And this tape is very translucent. I know you can't see it on camera, but it's very translucent because it's just tissue paper. So that's another way to do your own kind of washi tape concept idea. And I took this a step further, and this would be number, what number am I? <laughs> this is number 27. And hold on, I'm getting it. Oh. And for this, I used white tissue tape, or tissue paper. I applied my tape to it. And I'll show you that in one second. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get all the little pieces together. So basically, um, and this stuff you can get at the dollar store or anywhere it's very reasonable and you simply lay out a sheet I'm just going to run real quickly to show you how this is done you take your tape you apply it down I'm going to just tear this instead of cut it I should cut it because that's what you should do but I just want to hurry up and show you how to do it you can just trim off the the excess paper from the sides and once you've done that you can then stamp on it and when you're putting your tape down don't, I mean your paper down don't worry if you get wrinkles in it because that's washi tape it's like that's what it does that's what gives it character so then you can simply take any background stamps you have or any stamps you have at all I just like the backgrounds and the ones that have the flat surface because they cover more and you can do all of these beautiful designs on your tapes with any background stamps that you have and what I want to show you is the difference I tried. Now, you can try this yourself, but um, the chalk ink is, um, it's this one here. And it kind of gives like a distressed look with the image. It kind of um, distorts it a little once you stamp it on the tissue. And then there's this one, which is very crisp and clear. And that's what this stays on ink, just so you can kind of see the difference of how it works. So you want to try your different inks. Now, what's really nice about this is, again, it's very translucent because it's just tissue paper. You just peel off your backing. And what's really nice is if you're working on um, something and you want to have this on your projects, it's ready to go. You just push it down, maybe an edging on a tag or something. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this. I mean, yes, you could stamp the image right onto the tag, but this just adds another texture to it. And that's what washi tape does. So that would be um, number 27. And then I took this one step further and I thought, well, you know, if I could do it with fabric and I could do it with tissue, I want to do it with lace. So I tried to apply this tape to this, but you can see it through, which I didn't like. So then it came to me to use vellum tape. Now I've had this tape forever, but I know it's still available. You can get it. It's vellum tape and you use it with vellum paper. But in this case, I used it on my uh, lace and look at how pretty is that. 
it's just self-adhesive lace. It's just amazing. And what's really nice is that um, you can't see the vellum through the lace. Really nice. So that's number 28. Now last tip to share with you today. Um, let's see. Is a way to store all of your tissue tapes, your washi tapes, that kind of stuff. Um, I saw this idea now long ago. I don't know who did it because I learned this like years ago. I just have it in my head and I finally made one. Um, but I saw this and I wish I could give credit. So if it's your idea, let me know. But basically um, they took a box like this. Um, I believe the one they used was like a press stick, something kind of paper or seal press paper and the the box was actually bigger and if I were to do this again I probably would use something a little bigger because this is just really too tiny in my opinion but anyhow uh, what's really nice is it has this metal strip on it and so what I did was I took the box and I altered it and I covered it with paper as you can see there I put a window in it with acetate so that I could see what was in here. You could see there I have my Tim Holtz tissue tape. I The roll that's inside is there and my tapes just slide right on that. Now I put a dowel inside of that roll and it sticks out here. Let me see if I can show you. If I can show you one end of this. See the dowel is there? I covered it with one of these little spools just because I didn't want it to you know look ugly. And so um Whenever I need to take off a roll, I can just remove the dowel and I'm able to slide one off. I closed this box with vellum just so that the lid would stay closed. And you'll see there you have your sticky tapes ready to go. And all you have to do is pick up your tape and pull it. Oops, sorry. Pull it. And because of that metal strip that we didn't cover, you just tear off what you need. It's just a really nice way to store your tissue tapes and you're able to see what's in there so that you don't have to um, fuss and plus it keeps them really clean um, from fibers and whatever stuff might get stuck on the sides and that. So that would be tip number 29. So I hope you enjoyed this sticky tips and tricks ideas and I hope you're able to use some of them in your projects and I will see you soon with more tips and ideas for 2012. Have a great day. Bye.